The army knew it was going to be a major struggle to get tickets to BTS's London dates when they went on sale this morning. But in addition to the UK armies weeping over missing out on their chance to see RM, Suga, J-Hope, Jin, Jungkook, V and Jimin in the flesh, there's a hole of anger too thanks to resale tickets popping up almost immediately for ridiculous prices. Tickets for BTS's London dates on 9 and 10 October at the O2 Arena went on sale this morning at 9 a.m., and it seemed like most of Europe was on Ticketmaster attempting to buy them. When attempting to buy tickets, fans were confronted with a message reading, Wow! Loads of people have turned up today. As so many people are trying to book tickets, we've started a queue. Don't refresh this page as you may lose your place in the queue. Even without the queue, tickets for the two dates, which cost between £62 and £50, and £160 plus freeze for general tickets, and £220 for VIP, evaporated in under 10 minutes. But just minutes after the tickets were sold out, they began to pop up on Ticketmaster's official resale marketplace JetMain for drastically elevated prices. Currently on JetMain, standing tickets for the 9 October date are being sold for £1,170 per ticket. While a single upper tier ticket was being sold for £136, others in the same blocks are being flogged for £1,039 and £1,169. And less than an hour after the tickets went on sale on Ticketmaster, four lower tier seats with VIP passes are being sold for £1,950. Unsurprisingly, armies are seriously frustrated with tickets being flogged for crazy prices after selling out so quickly, not least because the BTS priority ticket sale was cancelled earlier this week. BTS superfan Angela Lee, at Angela Lee Pr told us, the tickets went on sale at 8.59am, if I wasn't already online then I wouldn't have even realized, and what makes it worse is that by the time it was 901 a.m. all the tickets were apparently sold out with TAT sites marking these up to £1,000 plus. What makes this situation even worse is that I've been with O2 for over 10 years, but then they decided to take off the priority sale at the 11th hour. And fellow BTS devotee Jenny Carroll added, being a BTS fan of course I sat at my desk at 8 a.m., waiting for tickets to go on sale at 9 a.m. To my surprise, but luckily I caught it, the queue opened up one minute early. While waiting in this queue, I noticed at 9 a.m. tickets were already on resale for £1,000 in a back row sitting area. Two minutes later Ticketmaster let me know something went wrong with the queue, and I had to start over. When I tried to re-enter, the website let me know the tickets were no longer available, Axis is still giving me hope, because I am still in the queue, I hope my boss understands that I need to just go home and listen, but also ask my parents to hold me tight. Judging by social media, it seems that some armies did get their hands on precious tickets to see the fake love stars perform, but we're holding out for a third date.